What up? Tyler here with Tarver Academy. And as always, if you could hit that subscribe button, that would be super. All right, let's learn something today, shall we? So uh, today we want to talk about how to protect your sheet and or protect your ranges, like ranges within the sheet. Um, so what this means is it means that you are able to share the sheet or show the sheet to the world and people can edit it, but only certain parts of it. That's if you protect like a range. That means like, oh, I want people to be able to edit the whole thing except for right there. I want to make this, this is uneditable except for by me. And they can change all this other stuff. Okay, that's protecting a range. If you protect the whole sheet, well, that means that nobody can mess with any of the data or anything in the sheet. So let's start with a range because that's more likely. Because um, if you're going to protect the whole sheet, you would just, when you share it, you just would make sure that it's, you know, it's not going to uh, be able to be edited by anybody. So let's say I want to keep this and the first, you know, three years. Um, I know those are right. Everybody else can edit the rest. So I want to protect this range. I'm just going to right click inside of what I highlighted and then I'm going to go down to protect range. Now um, it's automatically going to grab the part of the document that uh, I selected. So I went A1 through B4. Um, I could change that but you know it's fine and I'm just going to say uh, title, I'm going to call it title and first three years. I wrote that weird but here we are. Set permissions. Then it's going to be able to um, show a warning when editing this range, so it'll like warn people. Or I can just say, hey, you know what, only me, or I can pick certain people that can adjust it. I just want it to be me. Done. Change is saved. No one else can come in and edit this. They can edit the rest, but they can't edit this. That is super helpful if you have a doc that has different headers or different titles and you're about to give it to a lot of people to put their opinions in or give comments or access. You can protect the rest of those ranges. Uh, a way to protect the entire sheet is if you go to Tools, Protect Sheet. Boom, this is the entire sheet. Um, and then I can leave open a couple separate cells and so I can just pick the cells that are okay. So if like, say I have a whole sheet and there's just like three spots that I want people to be able to write, I would do it that way. Protect everything and then just give them access to a few of them. Um, we'll say the B8, cool. Boom, everybody can change anything on here except for, um, B, no, they can't change anything but B8. So they can go in and change that number. There you go. You learned how to protect the sheet and ranges. Hope you learned something today. Um, always be learning out there. This is Tyler Tarver Academy, and y'all have the best day. Later. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free. costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come training on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.